In this question, an object is on a horizontal plane. The plane is increased until the object starts to slide. And we have to find the coefficient of static friction and the normal reaction force. Let's start by drawing a force diagram for the object at the moment when it starts to slide. First, the weight of the object is pointing downwards. I will name this mg. The normal reaction force N is perpendicular to the surface. And there is friction between the object and the plane. So there is a friction force acting parallel to the surface. Let's break down vector mg into two components. One that is parallel to the plane and one that is perpendicular to the plane. Now due to the symmetry in the diagram, this angle here is the same angle as the plane makes with the horizontal. Let's now use this concept from subtopic 1.3 to find the magnitude of n and the friction force. When the angle is equal to theta zero, the object is still just at rest before it starts to move. As a result, n is equal to the component of mg that is perpendicular to the plane. Connecting the diagram from the data booklet to our drawing, we can see that this component of mg is equal to mg times cosine theta zero. Hence n is equal to mg cosine theta zero. Using the same reasoning, the friction force FF is equal to the component of mg that is parallel to the plane. Again, using the diagram from the data booklet, we can conclude that FF is equal to mg sine theta zero. Let's continue by using this equation from subtopic 2.2. Here, FF is the friction force, mu s is the coefficient of static friction, and r is the normal reaction force. Since in our drawing, the object is just about to start to move, we will use the equal sign from this expression. So substituting for FF, we have mg sine theta zero, which is then equal to mu s and the normal reaction force is n, which is equal to mg cosine theta zero. Canceling mg from both sides and dividing by cosine theta zero, we get mu s is equal to sine theta zero over cosine theta zero. Sine over cosine is tangent, so we get tangent theta zero for mu s, which means that the answer to this question is D.